limit equals infinity is actually a very, very interesting topic for me because that's led me to where I am today. Being in a family business has always made me limit the things I thought. And being an individual who wanted to break away from family business has created a mode of infinity. For me, soch badlo, khud ko badlo, dunya badlo, is a thought that came in the last few years as I grew my journey to think that if I can change that one thought in my head, can I be a better human being? And if I can be a better human being, then I can change the world. Like you said, um, the word that come into my mind is nazaria, whether it's limiting or it's limitless. The way I see life is based on Rumi's principle. You are not a drop in an ocean. You are an ocean in a drop. It all matters, it all things at what side you see it, half, half empty or half full. In my life, I have always felt to see the glass as half full. Because no matter what you say, no matter what you do, no matter what your opinion is, it's going to be very different from everybody else's. What stops you is your thought. It's really the thought that binds you, the people around you that bind you. When you got an A, your parents said, why didn't you get an A plus like a cousin? Or if you did this like your cousin, you'd get this. Or if you did that, you would get this. Um, it's, a, it's just a way of seeing things. In my life, I started at boarding at age five. I was, a, I was a boxer at age six. I was undefeated till the age of 22. I became a national level boxer, but all against family pressures. In a business family, you expect to conform. You expect to do things that they need to be done. For all of you here who have uh, parents in business or you know people in business, they'll always tell you to do things one way. But what I want to say is, what I can think from my own example is that allow yourself to be. You know, school, I was a teacher, Mr. Bertodia and Dun School, and he used to open the window and he used to say, open the windows, let the, let the weather come in. And at that time, I used to find it very funny. Why would you say weather? You could say air come in, let's say, you know, today as I look back, the weather is so apt, let the weather come in. You, you got to experience everything, you got to immerse yourself in it all. COVID happened. Overnight, we became live to Zoom. For me, when, I, when COVID happened, I was completely offline. And I was thinking to myself, how do I run a business within 24 hours to become online? And that limitless thought, that got us to be what we are today. How many of you here felt that when COVID came, the life would stop? Nothing would move. How do you do things this way? How do you think do that way? But all I have to say to you, just believe in yourself. Figure the noises around you, figure the noises behind you, and go with just one principle. As long as I believe, I'll take that step forward. When I launched Kalaba Cosmetics, my father told me, you will fail. Because there's Revlon, there is Maybelline, there's Lacme, there's Lancome. And I said to him, Dad, that's the reason I'm in the, got into the business, because I'll fail. Because if it's not challenging enough, it wasn't worth it. And today, 17 years later, I feel a sense of pride that we've been able to create a good global Indian brand. But that was only one principle. The principle was belief. As long as you believe, as long as you think you can do it, just do it. Today, you have many more opportunities than I ever had. You have the internet, you have friends, you have mobile phones. When I started working, there was no internet. There was no mobile phone. I remember my first computer was a Spectrum that you connected to a, a TV and wrote on, on, on DOS platform. And my first laptop was 80 MB, Toshiba. Today, 80 MB is you think it's not even a small chip, but this is the opportunity that lie in front of you. As you go forward in life, think of one thing, one thing only. What would you like to be? And what would you like others to want you to be? If you believe in something strong enough, then go for it. You know, in a few, uh, a year ago, I was in a Modi care conference and I saw the 75 year old woman sitting at the back. I said, Maji, aap kis kis hai? She said, I am not going to do it. I am not going to do it. I am not going to do it. I am 
पहली बार मुझे कि अपने पति से या अपने बेटे से पूछने की जरूरत नहीं होगी कि पैसा चाहिए that belief in yourself is the only thing that can get you where you want to get you you know the principle of miraki i came across this word called miraki that whatever you do you do with a little bit of your soul creativity and love in whatever you do in it how many of you here believe in love creativity miraki how many of you feel that you could do be better how many of you experience somebody telling you you can't do this you can't do this this won't work this won't work this won't work and how many times you thought to yourself because if they are saying it won't work it won't work i'm sure all of you have faced that i have faced that in my life and i still face it i still talk to people and say samir you can't do it and when they say they can't do it that makes my conviction even stronger because they say you can't do it therefore i have to do it when they say no i say yes when they say yes i say no you know my father when he was alive he used to get very upset with me because i used to say to him publicly dad When you say right, I'm going to say left. When you say up, I'm going to say down. When you say day, I'm going to say night. And he got really offended with that. He said, "You know, I'm teaching you. You're you're my son. You work with me. And when I say yes, you should say yes." I said, "That that's the whole idea. That when you say right, I always have to say left because I think differently to you. You you brought me up to think differently. You brought me up. You educated me to be myself." and therefore some of you may call it being a rebel right it sounds very rebellion but i don't wear uh under the jacket i do wear my glasses once in a while but it's what you wear what you wear what you think so what if you want to be a rebel what's wrong with being a rebel rebel are those people who stand out in a crowd rebel are those people who believe in themselves rebel are those people who challenge the norm and is today you are willing to do that in this vast global economy that's in front of you you can be whatever you want to be just remember not to be a follower be a rebel create a mark think about yourself and just believe in what you do make the glass half empty half full the way you see it the way i see it that every glass is half empty and every glass is half full it is a nazariya or the way you look at it some will say half empty some will say half full but i truly believe that as long as you see the both ends of it you can reach where you want to reach you know my um, my father my grandfather used to say when he was alive that when you give your word you have to fulfill it and not many people believe in that that when you give your word you need to do it i gave myself my own word that i'll succeed I gave myself my own word that I will rise against anything that comes in my way. I have been beaten, I have fallen, I have been stripped of whatever I had. I lost my work, I lost my companies, I lost my employees. I've been thrown out of my house. I've been brought back into my house. I have gone through it all. I have been a waiter, waiting on tables. In fact, my first rupee I earned was a waiter in an Indian restaurant in Australia. i have been a worker in a factory i have flipped burgers in a restaurant and i have also um, washed and mop floors so therefore is it is it wrong is it just that belief that if you believe in it go for it if you believe in something go for it and no matter what you do you'll succeed i believed um, that when i wanted to do uh, a new business that i will do it against all limits i will go against all tides i'll go against only one one wish that was here in my brain so for those of you who think that life is tough believe me it is those who think is is not going to happen believe me it will for those who feel that you got to give a lot believe me you will just go for it just don't let anything come between you just search is your biggest culprit the only thing that stops you is you not your neighbor not your mother not your sister not your colleague not your friend not anybody not even the dog on the street the only thing that stops you is your search the day you decide to change your search search badlo 
खुद को बदलो दुनिया बदलो हैव यू नोटिस व्हेन यू आर इन गुड मूड व्हाट इज द रिएक्शन ऑफ द पीपल अराउंड यू दे ऑल आर हैप्पी द डे यू हैव दैट बैड हेड डे द पीएमएस डे व्हाट डू यू फील द पीपल अराउंड यू आर सेइंग ओह माय गॉड जस्ट स्टे अवे फ्रॉम हर नो शी इज शी इज अ शी इज अ बैड डे यू नो शी दैट टाइम ऑफ द मंथ and that happens to most men that time of the month you know my father used to say to me while growing up ki lala ji lala ji kyu ro rahe ho aji ro nahi rahe inki shakal hi aisi hai you know in our school comics the principal mr vadabi i was known as mr vadabi in, in while growing up because i was always uh, sulking i was always saying i got the wrong end of the stick but believe me that is the best trick to have when you're short changed in life that the only time you remember and know what life is all about so all i got to say to you all that kept me in good good stead is humor learning from my mistakes being able to say sorry and today that's what got me here today you know uh in top of soch badlo i found it very difficult all my life to be a confrontation to take on issues but i always found it difficult to say sorry now with the soch badlo thing in my head I can't go to sleep at night till I make amends. So I make amends for whatever I've done wrong for that day. Then tomorrow is a new day. I've made my my what you call a balance sheet clean. I can start again. So for open the windows, let the weather come in, and no matter what anybody says, don't let them stop you, because the weather is stronger and more powerful than the wind. You know, my name is Samir. Means the wind. I was born two months early. I was two point five pounds baby. Two months early, I have always been running, and I'm still running. I want to say one thing to you that if life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make a margarita. <laughs>